y'all. Welcome to fourth grade, chapter nine, lesson four. We're going to get started. So I want you, before we start, to notice that a decimal form and a dollar form, a dollar amount, are the same exact thing, but a dollar form just has a dollar sign in front of it, y'all. That's it. It's that easy, okay? So we're going to put it in a dollar form. We're going to put it in a fraction. And we're going to put it in a decimal, okay? Okay, so 25 cents, 35, 45. Well, first, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write on these how much they're worth so that I don't get confused while I'm counting it, okay? So 25, 35, 45, 55, 56, okay? Now, when you're doing the dollar one, they have you put the zero in front of it. So I'm going to go ahead. That transfers to both of those. It's exactly what it is, okay? Now, this one, 56, and it's out of 100 cents. It's in the hundredth place. That decimal's in the hundredth place. Boom, done. Okay? I promise it's not that bad, y'all. Right as a money amount and as a decimal in terms of dollars, okay? So, whatever it is, we're going to start this with a dollar sign, okay? Every single one of them is gonna start with a dollar sign, okay? And all they're trying to do is have you see that the decimal and the dollar amount are exactly the same, just with a dollar sign in front of it, okay? So, this one doesn't have a whole number, so it's gonna start with a zero, okay? Then we have 25 and it's over 100, so we're good, okay? Now, the frac, or sorry, the, just the decimal of that is still 0 0.25. Done. Okay? No whole number starts with a zero. Okay? 79 over 100 just means 79 with a 9 in the hundredths place, and it is. So, your decimal, exactly the same. Okay? No whole number, zero. 31, where the one is in the hundredth spot, we're good to go. Boom. Okay. You guys do. Oh, I'm going to help you with this one just because they're trying to trick you. Okay. That's eight over a hundred. Well, no whole number. And there's only an eight and the eight has to be in the hundredth spot. So we need to put a zero in the tens and an eight in the hundredths. Okay. So now your decimal is exactly the same. Okay. You guys do number seven. Okay. You totally can. Okay. Write the money as an amount as a fraction in term of dollars, okay? So now we're just going to swap that. So 87 cents and the sevens and the hundredths. So 87 and the sevens and the hundredths, okay? Three cents, well, three is in the hundredth spot. So it's three over 100, okay? Ooh, they're trying to trick you on this one. Boom. Okay, now you could put, well, they want it as a fraction. All right, let's do it this way. So you could put one over one, you totally could, or you could put 100 over 100, totally acceptable too, okay? Don't do it this way, do it this way. Okay, all right, you guys do 10 and 11, all right? So, write the total money amount, then write down the amount of the fraction and of the decimal in terms of dollars, okay? So, quarters, I'm just gonna write 25, and dimes, I'm gonna write 10, dime, I'm gonna write 10, pennies is one, nickels is five, pennies is one, okay? All right, so now two quarters, well, quarters are 25 cents, so if I have two quarters, that's 50 cents, and then two dimes, so I have to add two, 20 more to that, okay, because a dime is worth 10, okay? So, 50 cents, 60, 70. So, 70 cents, okay? So now the amount of the fraction is just going to be 70 over 100, okay? Now, as a decimal, that's just going to be 0 0.70, okay? So 
three dimes, that's 30 cents, because that's three sets of 10, and four pennies, so 34. So, dollar sign, 0 0.34, as a fraction, 34 out of 100 cents, and as a, just a decimal, 0 0.34, okay? You guys do number 15, you totally can. Okay, nickels are worth five, pennies are worth one, okay? Kate has one dime, four nickels, and eight pennies. Write Kate's total amount of the fraction in terms of a dollar, okay? So, one dime, 10 cents, four nickels, well, nickels are worth five cents, so that's four of those, so that's another 20 cents, that's worth 30 cents. And eight pennies that are worth one, so 38, okay? So, 0 0.38. Okay, and it wants it as a fraction. So 38, and that 8 is in the hundredth spot. Done. Okay, Nolan says he has 75 hundredths of a dollar. If he only has three coins, what are the coins? Well, the only three coins that it could be are three quarters. So three quarters. Okay, so write that on down. Okay. Okay. You guys are going to do the lesson check. Remember that quarters are worth 25, nickels are worth five, pennies are worth one, and dimes are worth 10. Okay. All right. And we're going to go ahead and do the spiral review together. Okay. Joel gives a third of his baseball cards to his sister. Write a fraction that's equivalent to one third. Well, one third. And if we multiplied both of those by two, then we would get. 2 over 6. If we multiplied it by 3, we would get 3 over 9. If we multiplied it by 4, we would get 4 over 12. You can write any of those. Okay? Any of them. All right. Penelope bakes pretzels. She salts 3 eighths of the pretzels. Write 3 eighths. Oh, sorry. Write a fraction that's equivalent to 3 eighths. So, 3 eighths. We could put 6 over 16. We could put 9 over 24. We could put 12 over 32. You can pick any one of those and write it down. Okay? All right. What is the decimal shown by the shaded area in the model? Well, there's only one square in this whole thing shaded in. Okay? So, there is a decimal. There is no 10. A 10 is a whole stick of these shaded in. So there isn't a whole one shaded in. And there's just one square. That's it, guys. Okay? Mr. Guzman has 100 cows in his dairy farm. Of the cows, 57 are Holstein. What is the decimal that represents the portion of cows that are Holstein? Well, if we just put a decimal, and then put five, seven, that seven is in the hundredth spot, and there's a hundred cows. So that's it, guys. All right, thanks for hanging out for 9.4. Come on back for 9.5 soon.